And so the next question is, and I believe the answer got to be yes, but a key, I truly know the answer is yes, but the question is how. Did you feel stressed in your high school years? <laughs> how did you deal with that? Rachel? So, yes, um, <laughs> but I really don't think I needed to be basically as long as you have, you have de decent grades, you have a decent ACT, SAT score, you'll be fine. Like, honestly, the essay questions, I don't think they really matter that much. Nobody actually really, really cares about them unless you're going to like maybe Stanford or something. Um, but yeah, no one really cares about your essay questions. They just care about your the numbers you're giving them. <laughs> And honestly, like you're 17 or 18, you don't need to have your life figured out yet. And there's no shame in going to like a community college um, for a degree or just for a few years or from to get some lib eds out of the way. Um, honestly, even like if you have no idea what you want to do in college, like don't go like take a year off if you need it. Work a few jobs like you'll learn that way, too. You don't have to go to like college to like continue your life like eventually you can go but like go if you know what you're gonna do not if you're just kind of floating there for a few years thank you rachel very precious sharing the perspective that can make us all feel relieved both as a high school students if you are as a parents if you are <laughs> all right so jesse how about you uh, yeah, well, just like any other normal high schooler, there were definitely many, many times where I felt extremely stressed. But one thing that I tended to notice from all of my stressful situations was it's always never as big a deal as you think it is in the moment. So academically and socially, whenever I faced any stress, I was always super caught up in the moment. But I definitely always learned to just learn from my mistakes afterwards. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. So, for example, if I failed on a test, bad homework grade, I would, okay, study this chapter more or plan myself more accordingly or give myself more time so I have room to fix any mistakes. And then social issues, I just really learned that they're not that big of a deal. Like once you move past it, you can just laugh about it with your friends. Thank you, Jesse. Very nice. How about you, Selena? Um, I mean, yeah, of course I've been stressed, but I think that no matter what you do in life, you're always going to be stressed for one reason or another. Like if you take easier classes, there can, there's going to be another stressor. Or if you do this, there, in, it's on and on. So I, I feel like it's kind of, it's very hard and definitely easier said than done. But learning to accept the stress as almost like a motivator or something to keep you accountable is going to help you a lot later in life. Because it's easier to fail in high school where you have a, where you, I assume, have like a safe safety net around you and, and your resources and comforts around you versus then if you fail later on at your first job or something that could have more effects later on in your career. Thank you, Selena. I remember that. It's easier said than done, indeed. We all want to fly by the challenges right there, but you know what? It takes time and perseverance and you enjoy life from there. Rem, I heard that your mom said, you, I don't know whether you have a stress or not, because you were able to boldly tell your mom the reason you're here is because me, all right? You must be the happiest child in the world. Tell us, how do you deal with the stress, if at all? Um, yeah, actually, I get very stressed. Um, like Jesse said, I get caught up in the moment a lot. It happens all the time. And the way that I kind of help myself get away from that moment was actually through my art, which was part of the college application process. It was part of kind of portfolio development, which I was very stressed about, but art kind of gives me a break. And so does music. I also play instruments. So pursuing your interests in your time between work is one way that I found to help de-stress. Thank you. How nice it is. You can find a relief from the work you're preparing for your college right there. Excellent. So the next question is beyond the college. What are the activities and exploration that help you become a better person? I know Jesse has something to say. If it's Selena, Ram, you guys, or Rachel, you guys have anything else you want to say? Also raise your hand. So Jesse, please. So yeah, so the two most important activities that I participated in during high school were acapella and cross country. So firstly, acapella. I really enjoy music and I learned to play a lot of instruments growing up. 
Uh, however, one thing that I found that really interested me in acapella was just the sense of family that I couldn't really find anywhere else in like piano or orchestra or uh, playing the oboe. I really value this kind of like family bond that existed between singers within acapella. So actually, when I joined high school, I was the only freshman in my year to join my high school's acapella. And I really enjoyed just how much like singers that uh, students that wanted to sing could connect over so many other things. So actually, just this year, I just finished leading my acapella uh, all 100 percent through online. I had to help. Uh, edit all of our songs together, uh, create YouTube videos, and perform at any virtual showcases for our school. So throughout this experience, I learned leadership as uh, as a role model for acapella, but also learned to essentially be like a loving family member to make sure that all of my other members were safe, they were happy, and comfortable with their experience at acapella. And then my second experience, cross country, was really a personal journey that I went through myself. Uh, I initially joined cross country because I was extremely unhappy with the way I looked and how much I weighed. So obviously I had really terrible motivations going into cross country because every single time I went to practice, all I could think about was, oh, if I finish this three hours of grueling practice, I'll lose weight. But however, halfway through into the season, I learned that my continued persistency of going to practice every day actually taught me how to run, whether I knew it or not. So by the time the season finished, I learned to enjoy the process more than the end goal. And by changing my mindset just like that, I was able to experience so much more. I was actually able to enjoy practice, make a lot more friends that way. And by the end of the season, I had completely forgotten about my initial goal of losing weight. And when I just randomly checked myself on the scale again, I had long since surpassed my, my end goal. And uh, I just truly learned the lesson of how important it is to just trust and enjoy the process rather than just continuing tunnel visioning on the end goal. Thank you. If you got a question for our young panelists, you thought their experience they're sharing could help your dear ones. Do not be afraid from asking questions. Put it in the chat box. Selena or Ram, you guys anything you want to share? Go ahead, Selena, please. So like Jesse mentioned, I feel like joining an activity where you get a sense of family is really important to helping make friends and also working with people. Um, so for example, for me, that was sports where I did wrestling and also theater where um, you just like work with other actors, you direct plays, things like that. So I feel like theater especially has helped me kind of come out of my shell. It's something I never would have expected me to do, but I kind of just did on a whim. And it's surprisingly similar to speech and debate if you've ever done that. But it helps you. Um, it helps you become less less self conscious because um, you kind of have to force yourself into uncomfortable situations, and then you become a lot more comfortable with yourself and interacting with others through that. And aside from just specific activities, I feel like no matter what, as long as you put yourself really into something you're passionate about, you're gonna you're gonna do well in it. Um, not even if not naturally, you're gonna be able to put in the work so that eventually you be, do well in it. So then that um, each student has to find what this is for themselves, but it's, it's easier or it's easier. It's more enjoyable and also probably more worthwhile to put a lot of energy towards something you love rather than something you just feel obligated to do. Thank you. Very precious. Remy, got anything you want to share? Nope. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Um, okay. Yep. For me, that sense of community and belonging that um, both Selena and Jesse were talking about came from working for my school's editorial paper. Um, it's a very small um, school, only 60 kids between middle and high school, but there was a sense of belonging and community that I felt kind of came together through our publication. And I'd worked there for five years and then eventually worked up to editor in chief in my senior year in high school. So I felt that kind of what they were talking about, I got through my um, newspaper. And again, being passionate about what you do is very useful in that. Excellent. So before we move to the next section, we're going to hear from parents' perspective. I want to do a quick sum up about what we heard so far. From a parent's perspective, a lot of time we look at childs as, are they healthy? Do they have uh, reasonable scores at school? Do they learn well? Do they run into different challenges? But they were just talking about the capability to build up and their struggle, challenge learning through the activities they did, and also how they learn 
and begin the com the sense of community through the activities they did. It was a very awesome perspective. Feel free to ask some questions, Van.